everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video I am doing a look inspired by Squid Game and we've just finished watching the series on Netflix and we absolutely loved it. So I thought I'd do a look inspired by Squid Game and it's been so talked about at the moment so this seemed perfect to do for Halloween as everyone has watched it. Well, most people that I know have watched it or have um, talked about it a lot so yay. The first thing I did is cover my face in foundation and then I take a liquid eyeliner and do like a drippy pattern down my forehead and down my eyes. Um, and this is pretty easy. You want to use something that's really pigmented so it just works really well and it goes in like one continuous line to save you time. Um, but anyway, have you guys watched Squid Game and what did you think about it? I think it is really awesome. I love all the things on Netflix at the moment that we watch like I feel like it is so much better than the movies and it just is really cool and I love the choreography fee and like the storyline behind Squid Game and that it was like quite scary I don't know I I really liked it it kept me on my toes the whole time so I think this will be really cool for Halloween I think people would know that it's linked um and you could do even more things that kind of show that it's Squid Game, but I kind of did the black drips and the black forehead to represent the workers' masks that they use. Um, so I did a circle, a triangle, and a square on my head. I think this is the most obvious thing that gives it away that it is Squid Game, and if you think it's not obvious enough, you could write Squid Game in eyeliner, like on the jacket. Now I wish I did that um, just to make it even more obvious but I think people will know anyway. Um, so I just carefully drew around that circle, square and triangle just to make it really thick um, so on the inside I can paint it white. Now this was the symbol on like the cards that the people that the players got and it was on the workers mask so it makes it really relevant. Um, and then I just got a really black pigmented eyeshadow and filled all that area in. I used a really small brush to get in between the drips. You just want to get something that's really pigmented. Um, like I said in last week's video, I don't like working with paints for blending. Um, but I do use paint sometimes if I want to do like fine lines. So for example, I use this Meron palette to do the white in between um, to do the shapes. Um, I just find working with eyeshadow so much easier and like to blend and if you have like really pigmented eyeshadows you can get like the exact colors you want because there's so many different colors, um, eyeshadow colors and that is one thing I need like a um, big colorful eyeshadow palette because I only have two. I have the Morphe James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette and I also have the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette but I want something um, with really big pans that I can use. I can dip a massive brush in if I'm um, blending in a large area on my face or body. So let me know if um, you guys own any colourful eyeshadow palettes and what you recommend um, and what's really pigmented. I'd love to know as I'm thinking of getting another one. Um... I'm now taking some white eyeshadow and just adding some highlights in the forehead. So on their masks, it almost looks like a microphone. You guys will kind of know what I mean. Like it looks kind of like netted. So I didn't want to just keep it black. I wanted to add in some lines and kind of make it look like a microphone. You guys will probably know what I mean. Um, and I just did lines all over in like a crisscross pattern. Now this took me a while. And then I realized that was a little bit light, so I took the Stila um, Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in Snow. This one's really good because it gives out like one continuous line, and it even worked after drawing over all my eyeshadow, and I've used this a few times. Um, so this is like really good. So I did some faint light lines, and I just went crisscross um, lines going all one way, and then drawing lines going all the other way through it. Um, this look is quite time consuming. I think it did take me like two hours, but I think it's really cool and I think that people will like it. I think just to make it more obvious, um, you should write Squid Game on the jacket maybe. Anyway, I take some liquid latex. This one is from Makeup Plus. 
Um, and what you want to do, I realized I cut this all out. My head was just in screen. But you want to lay this down over your lips and across. Then tear some toilet tissue. Stick it on top. Put liquid latex on top of that toilet tissue till it's saturated. Then wait till it to dry. Put foundation on top. Um, and then you want to cut across through it, being very careful. Trust me, it doesn't cut your skin. You just want to glide little nail scissors underneath. And then you want to fill in that cross with black eyeshadow to add some depth. And I added some like bruising colors, like slight, slight purples and blacks around the cross to kind of disguise the liquid latex to the skin. Um, I'm so sorry, guys, that I cut it out when I was doing the cross and the liquid latex part. But it's fairly simple, like literally just lay down liquid latex and a cross wait for it to dry, put foundation on top, and then cut across in it. And then, yeah, add all this bruising and stuff on top. And then you add this Ben Nye Scare Blood, which is the star of the show without this. Um, I don't know what I'd do. This makes everything look realistic and really cool. So I just take like an old spoolie and I just put this all in between the cross and just really get it under there and just kind of add some to the edges as well. Um, and now time to draw the jumpers that they had on the show with the numbers. So I looked at a photo. This kind of looks different to what they were wearing because sometimes I'd wear like a jumper and then a t-shirt underneath. Um, but I thought I'd do, do just the jumper because it's more like iconic to the movie. Um, so I did this like big collar and then I did the number 451 because I... I think that was the number of the main character so I didn't even double check I just did it um, and then I did these lines down the side because on the jumpers they have like white sides and then I take this NYX primal colors eyeshadow and hot blue and the take me to Brazil palette again from BH cosmetics and a green shade and I take a big brush and I just blend this all over my body the only thing is Paints would make this way more pigmented and fill it in way faster if you had a massive brush. But I don't like blending paints. And I just find that working with eyeshadows, I've just always liked. And I think it's much better. It's less messy. It looks more blended and seamless. And it, you can build it up to the consistency you like. Um, so I took more green and put that in the number square. Um, just so it wasn't like all blending together with the shirt. And then I took some white paint again from Meron and I went over the number and just added some details. And then I also filled in the sides of the jumper in white and then just kind of blended up the edges of the jumper and make it a little bit more detailed. Anyway, what Netflix series do you guys recommend? Because now that we have finished Squid Game, I am very gutted. I heard there's a season two coming out, rumors, so I'm very excited for that. But usually season one um, is always, or like first time movies of something is way better because then they just seem to drag on. But anyway, give me some Netflix recommendations of any shows that you recommend. Now I'm taking the EXO Beauty Folks Minx Lashes in Goddess and I put those on and put some black contacts in and this is the end of the makeup look. So I hope you get the concept of my look. I kind of took in little concepts throughout the movie and added it in. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye.